just one of the things I'd like to discuss on the thrash out um, is the way that we see behavior as a simple choice between you know, a good choice, a bad choice, a right choice, or, or a wrong choice. We have this very binary view, I think, sometimes of safety. Uh, and we seem to think that those right choices are made by good workers, and those wrong choices are made by bad workers, morally defective workers. And so when we see an unexpected, unwanted outcome, which is an accident, we tend to blame the worker for that, that they've made a poor choice. Um, when we see a good outcome, which is perhaps unexpected, but a wanted outcome, perhaps we finish early, perhaps the job's slightly more successful uh, than we'd hoped, perhaps it's cheaper um, than we'd hoped, then we think the worker has made a, a good choice. Uh, and it's a simple uh, decision between a good choice, a good worker, and a bad choice and a bad worker. The fact is we employ highly competent people all of the time. And trying to understand why those highly competent people make the choices they do is far more important than understanding or looking at the choices that they have made. Um, behavior isn't a simple choice. It is a product of the environment in which these workers are working. Uh, and they have to resolve difficult decisions all day, every day. They have to deal with the, the, the demands, the counter demands of productivity, of, of time, of cost, of the availability of materials and tools and other workers that they expect to be available on the day. And they find that they aren't. Uh, they have to resolve all of those complex, messy issues um, to achieve the outcome. And sometimes that outcome has safety as the priority. Sometimes that outcome has efficiency as a priority. And sometimes that outcome perhaps has cost as a priority. Rather than ignore all of those competing priorities, we would far better serve the workforce if we understood them and supported workers to be successful.